fundamentally traveling uh, for the purpose of supporting terrorism is a crime in Canada. And anyone who traveled for the purpose of supporting terrorism uh, should face criminal charges. I'm not going to speak directly uh, to any given situation because uh, it's in the hands of the police and perhaps eventually the courts. Uh, but it is important that we make sure that people know you cannot get away with supporting terrorism in this country regardless of the circumstances. We continue to engage responsibly in the region, uh, monitor closely. We have a framework uh, around doing this. We've seen uh, a couple of situations already, but it's important that people who travel for the purpose of, su of supporting terrorism uh, face consequences. Uh, we condemn, obviously, in the most unequivocal terms, any support to any terrorist entity, including uh, ISIS and I did underline yesterday and will reiterate today that it is a very serious criminal offense to provide any kind of support to a terrorist entity and I also pointed out that individuals who break the law will face the full force of it. And today what you are seeing publicly is that um, the RCMP have laid a number of charges before the court around uh, leaving Canada for that purpose, around participating and furnishing a terrorist activity, uh, the activities of a terrorist group and participating in a conspiracy uh, for the purposes of aiding and abetting a terrorist group. Um, I've worked with those charges. As a federal prosecutor, I've seen how they play out. And individuals who are, are charged under the Anti-Terrorism Act, they face very serious penalties. Um, you know, beyond that, um, I would point out that when it comes to our policies or our laws, that we place as a paramount value the safety and security of Canadians. Well, again, I won't get into uh, any individual case, but what I will say is that we have a principled framework uh, to undertake those decisions as necessary, looking at a variety of factors, including uh, the severity and the nature of the charges, which may implicate the Anti-Terrorism Act, uh, whether or not there are any vulnerable circumstances that attach to uh, Canadian citizens who do enjoy a, a right of return and sort of we, we do have a framework to take that, uh, take all of those principles into account, but we don't talk about individual cases. Thank you.